which means that out of the one less marbles, is that right? Of the, of the total. So there's one blue left out of 11 marbles. Okay. Now, do you guys remember how to multiply fractions? How do you do that? You multiply how? Across. So what's 2 times 1? 2. What's 12 times 11? Is it 132? Okay, I can reduce this or I can approximate this maybe to the nearest thousands. What do you get when you approximate to the nearest thousands? Zero point zero one five. This is the probability that both marbles that you select from that bag will be blue. Okay, let's do another one. It's a probability they are both green. What does that look like? Well, what does it mean for both to be green? Isn't that the first is green and what? Second is green, is that true? You guys okay with this? You guys with me on that? What does the multiplication rule say? How do you know you, that you use the multiplication here rule? How do you know? How many items are you selecting? See this? Remember I started the lecture by pointing that out? So you're selecting two marbles, meaning this is, this end is the multiplication rule. So by definition, the probability the first is green times the probability that the second is green. And again, this is without replacement. So tell me, you reach in the bag. What's the probability that that first marble is green? What is it? Four out of 12. Four out of 12. You're selecting two marbles. You're doing it one at a time, right? 4 out of 12. Now, what do you have in your hand that you're going to throw out the window? What do you have? Which marble? You got a green marble you're throwing out the window. How do you know it's a green marble? First is green. So, when you reach in the bag again for the second time, because you're doing what in a time? How many green marbles out of the total marbles do you have? Three out of how many? Oh, it's too easy. You guys see what I'm saying? That is what you need to do with all these problems when you're selecting more than one now. So, if you guys use your algebra skills, right? Um, how do you multiply fractions across? 4 times 3, 12 times 11. Well, isn't 4 times 3 12? And we cancel this 12, so the answer is 1 over 11. What is this as a reduced? I'm sorry, what is this as a decimal approximated to the nearest thousandths? 0 0.91. Okay, you guys okay with this? Okay, you sure? Okay, let's keep going. See if you're awake. Tell me what this is. Probably the first is blue and the second is not blue. You're selecting two marbles, so what does that mean? You're going to use the multiplication rule. What does that say? Compute these probabilities separate and then multiply them. So what does it mean here for the first marble? You're going to determine the probability that the first is what? Is blue. What's the probability that that first marble is blue? Well, how many blue marbles are there in the bag? Two out of how many marbles? What are you doing 
with that blue marble. Right? You're doing this one at a time. You reach in the bag, you pull out a blue marble. What are you doing with that marble? Throwing it out. How do you know it's throwing out the window? Without replacement. Good. So it's out the window. You threw a blue marble out the window. Is that right? Okay, reach in the bag again. What's the probability that that second marble is not blue? How many non-blue marbles are there in the bag? Ten. What did you throw out? You threw out a blue marble. So there's ten non-blue marbles out of how many marbles? Good. Just keeping track of what you threw out the window. That's all you're doing. Is that easy or hard? OK, here we go. How do you multiply fractions again? Isn't this 20 over 132? What's that to the nearest thousandths? 0 0.152. Example, probability first is not blue and second is blue. Okay? You're selecting two marbles, so we use the multiplication rule. Now, the multiplication rule says determine the likelihood of each of those events being the first not blue and the probability that the second is blue. And what do you do with those probabilities? You multiply them. That's why they call it the multiplication rule. So let's go and let's think about this, OK? Let's reach in the bag. What's the probability that you pull out a non-blue marble? Well, there's 10 non-blue marbles out of how many marbles? 12. You guys OK with that? So what do you have in your hand for that first marble? What do you have? A non-blue marble. Is that true? What are you doing with that non-blue marble? Throwing it out the what? The window. Is that true? So if you threw a non-blue marble out the window and you reach in the bag for the second time, what's the probability that that second marble is blue? You've got to know how many blue marbles are in the bag. Two, because you threw out a what? Non-blue. There's two blue still there. Out of how many marbles? What do you guys notice? That's also 20 over 132, which is going to be 0. Point what? 152. I want to point this situation out to you guys, because it's going to have meaning to you probably next time when we come back. But well, I, what do you guys notice about this? What's happening here? You see this scenario here? This, you're selecting two marbles. That first was blue. Is that right? Is that true? And let's say the second was not what? Blue. You OK with that? Compare th that to the situation we just answered. You got two marbles again. The first is not blue, while the second is what? Blue. What did you get as a value? It's the same value. You guys OK with that? 